Harris County and Houston have recently announced new initiatives to crack down on youth violence. With more teens involved in gun related incidents and the mayor saying there's about 20,000 gang members in the city, a holistic approach is needed to get the ahead of the issue. Tiffany Justice is live tonight after speaking with some parents about all of this. Tiffany, what are they saying? Right, we spoke with parents who fear that things will get worse, but we also spoke with organizations that are being proactive. We have to take back our kids from the streets. We have to take back our community. Harris County and the city of Houston addressing youth and gun violence and the growing concern from parents. Monday, Mayor Sylvester Turner speaking in front of organizations from all across the country about a new initiative to stop gang and youth violence. Most cities are experiencing a rise in crime. We're going back 2020, 2021, and even in 2022. 16 and 24, that age group is the group that's kind of driving our numbers. The reality is, is that uh, they have access to guns. Mayor Turner saying there are about 20,000 gang members in Houston and their goal is to create summer job opportunities. What are we doing? Have we failed our kids? And for me as a single mother and as an educator, what can I do to help prevent these from happening. Pamela Haynes, a single mother of three, saying youth gun violence is out of control and fears for the worst. We can take control. We just have to step up and say, no, not my kid. No, not my community. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week. We're taking our kids back. We're taking our community back. We have to step up and do that. And until we do that, I'm afraid to say it's not getting better. It's going to get worse. And that's the scary part. I've gone to so many funerals of some of my former kids, current students, and it's heartening. It is heartbreaking to see parents have to bury their children. It's really scary. In May, Harris County addressing the issue, announcing a $4 million fund that will focus on programs prioritizing communities with high juvenile justice referrals. Pamela believes change has to start at home. I'm old school. I believe in the village. I've looked at just recently some students' uh, social media Instagram pages, and they're on there with their guns. And I'm looking at 14, 15 year old kids. Where are you getting these guns from? And I think our response to them to bring in these kinds of activity, activities and to bring in these programs is essential uh, to, for positive youth development. To make sure that we have a robust network of organizations that are responding to the needs of young people. Now the nonprofit Change Happens that is spearheading the county's effort is looking for more grassroots organizations to also get involved. We'll have more information online at fox26houston.com. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.